Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at the brand spanking new Noble Chairs Legend. What an amazing chair. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Noble Chairs Legend. So the, uh, the tagline, actually, I'm gonna read this off so I don't get it wrong. The tagline for this, you're gonna love this, is you've been epic, You've been an icon, you've even been a hero, now it's time to be a legend. Whoever writes their PR stuff wants a raise. I love it, that's great. As is the chair. So this is the new legend from Noble Chairs. So uh, you've probably seen other reviews of Noble Chairs in the past. They are synonymous with pretty much one thing and that is quality and possibly pricing. They're not the cheapest on the block, but certainly you do get a certain level of quality in these particular chairs. Now this is actually the second, well, technically it's the third Noble Chairs chair that I've actually used. There was one I did ages and ages ago, years and years ago. Uh, one more recently, which was in white, which uh, we'll leave some links for those in the video description so you can check those out as well. But this is the new legend. And I was slightly hesitant, if I'm completely honest with you, when you look at the pricing, which I'm going to come straight to the front and say about the pricing. So these actually start from £419.99 here in the United Kingdom. Oh, you'll probably be seeing pricing up on the side of the screen here for various regions. Of course, we will be putting links in the video description so you can check out local pricing, etc. And also there are various different shapes, sizes and colours, which may actually suit your budget more. So you've got options for fabric. You've also got German PU leather, which is a like a synthetic blend, which is what this particular one is in. And actually, it is very, very nice. Anyway, we're going to go through some of the facts and figures. I have done a full video showing how easy it is to assemble and all that kind of stuff and going through some of the finer points on it so if you want to check that out that will be linked in the video description as well so if you're thinking this is maybe the chair for me how easy is it put together then we've got you covered there as well no worries at all now i should say as well this has been sent to us free of charge for review purposes by noble chairs themselves so massive shout out to them for that thank you very much i've got to be honest with you it's one of those chairs where I would be debating whether or not I would spend this sort of money. But actually, after building it, sitting in it for a little while, literally it turned up today, so I've been on it all day. Um, yeah, I am convinced this is almost perfection. I don't think there's a great deal I would have done differently personally. Possibly maybe one thing, but that is so minor, it is ridiculous. But other than that, this chair pretty much has every base covered that you could possibly imagine. So you've got all the usual features. Obviously, you've got the um, padding, really really nice supportive padding excellent materials exquisite stitching not a stitch wrong anywhere on the entire design everything's just really really well built typically german engineering there and also it's got some really nice features which we've seen and some other chairs on the market but they've seemed to have put together all the best bits of all their other ranges and just thrown it into one design and made what is a legendary chair so some of those things, obviously you've got 4D armrests, so you've got the up, down, left, right, swivel, etc., forward, back. Really nice, soft, supple pads. Works really well. And actually, something which I found out today by mistake is they are actually removable and replaceable. So if you get to the point where they actually get damaged and you want to do something with them, they do actually unclip. I never knew that, but by uh, a slight accident, I had one of them actually came off. So they can be unclipped. So if your dog or your cat or your penguin choose through the armrest then you can possibly get a replacement from noble chairs so obviously you've got all the uh, movements left right up down all that kind of stuff so you can get those however you want i like the fact that i can put them right down low so if i've got my table i can squeeze underneath the table plenty of clearance room from the arms to the desk itself i'll give you a rundown of all the measurements a little bit later on in the video so you can get the size in for your particular needs other cool features there is a included lumbar support. Now this is one of those ones where it's on the elastic straps, so you just pass the straps through the back of the seat. You're probably seeing some of some B-roll we filmed a little bit earlier on, but you don't need to use it if you don't want to. It's entirely optional. This can give you an extra boost because the seat actually has it built in anyway. So there is an adjuster on the side, so you just twist that and already I can feel my lumbar being fully supported. And actually, even in the fully retracted position, actually it's still really supportive, so you've got no issues there at all. In its fully upright position, it is very upright. Now, I have actually got the additional pillow here, which goes along the top, so again, usual sort of deal. So it's on an elastic strap, so you can choose to use that if you want to or not. 
But again, you don't have to. It's actually really padded on this head already. So if you want to, you can just make it look like it is coming out of a German sports car. Or if you want to, you can add all these extra cushions and pillows to give you a little bit of extra comfort and a little bit of extra support. But again, it's not entirely necessary. Another cool feature is the pass-through. So we've got the pass-through there, which is the, uh, it says it's designed for airflow. I'm not entirely sure how that could possibly be. Um, obviously, unless your neck is completely flat with the back of the chair, then you're gonna get some airflow there anyway, but it's very cool. The fact that it's there actually does aid the fact that if you do use the lumbar support, you've got somewhere to put the straps through. So rather than being sort of crudely strapped around the sides, you can just put it through that hole and it all tapers down and is adjustable really nicely. Other features, obviously this particular one has got the multi-colored fabric. So we've got the red, white, and black, which I think looks really, really cool. So you've got red stitching on the white PU leather, then you've got white stitching on the red PU leather, and the black has got black stitching with a little bit of white as well as a trim. So they've done some really nice little touches there. So they've not just gone right, stitched the whole lot together with black thread and that'll be done. They've taken the time and the effort to do individual stitching, which is something generally you see on things like BMWs and stuff. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Other nice features, obviously, being that it is a gaming stroke office chair, you've got all the usual refinements. So if you want to, you've got the recline option. So there's a handle on the side. And actually the reclining mechanism is amazing. It's just so notchy and accurate. It's, yeah, I really do like that a lot. And the, actually the handle itself, as just a chunky handle, it almost feels like a handbrake in a car. Again, you're probably seeing some of that from B-roll shots we shot a little bit earlier. And of course, you've got all the usual stuff as well. So you've got recline, you've also got rock, various different modes. So if you want to recline a little bit more in the fully upright position, you're looking at kind of like 90 degrees, it will recline back to somewhere about 135 degrees. So it hasn't got a full tilt backwards. So if you do want to lie down completely flat, uh, this isn't the chair for you. It's not designed to do that. It will not do that. So. Yeah, you may want to look elsewhere for that, but I think for most people, if you're just relaxing, playing some games, watching some movies, maybe you've got your feet up on the desk, that sort of thing, while the boss isn't looking, then that sort of level of recline is going to be absolutely fine. You've also got a gas lift in there, as you'd expect from most chairs these days, and you do have about four to five inches of height difference. So at the very lowest, you're looking at a seat height, actually at leg level of about 19 inches, which for me is perfect. That suits me absolutely perfectly. I do prefer a slightly lower seat, and I do feel that this particular model does actually go down a little bit lower than some of the other chairs I've used previously, which may be around the 20 to 21 inch mark. So that extra couple of inches does make a difference, believe it or not. So like I said, you've got about four inches of uh, lift there. So it goes up to about 23 inches. So even if you are a slightly taller person, it should be absolutely fine. When you're looking at the actual seat base itself, so we've got a width of some of the region, about 21 inches in the fully kind of extended wide mode, including the kind of the lip side. If you look at just the actual seat base itself, the centralized bit, it goes between 14 inches at its widest part and 12 inches at its narrowest. From the front of the seat to the back of the seat, I've measured in at about 19 inches of usable butt space, and you've got about four inches of this really firm padding, which is awesome. When it comes to the armrest, plenty of adjustment there. So the armrest, you've got a height adjustment of about three inches from top to bottom. You've also got one inch of side to side movement and in the front to back, you've got two inches of movement and you've got around about 35 degrees of motion twisting to the left or twisting out to the right. When it comes to the seat back itself, again, super comfortable. At its widest point, you're looking at the same as the seat base, so about 21 inches at its widest part. You've also got about 25 inches between your butt and where the vent is and also the top to bottom completely to the very, very top is 36 inches. Now something people ask quite a lot is what sort of weight limit can this chair take, which says something about gamers, but this will take up to somewhere in the region of about 23 and a half stone. So um, yeah, you're gonna have to be quite a big lad. I am somewhere bordering towards the 14 stone mark. And for me, it's absolutely fine. Doesn't feel like it's creaking or any wobble or anything like that whatsoever. Obviously, if you're a slightly larger gentleman, then you may find the odd squeak and uh, rumble that here and there, but that may not be the chair, it may possibly be you. Other things I should mention about this chair, other than the fact that it's just ridiculously comfortable, and I actually just sat here thinking how comfortable I am. I genuinely wish that our little studio space here was bigger, because chairs like this are absolutely amazing to use, but I do struggle to actually get it to fit in between the desks in this very small room. This room in its entirety 
is four meters by three meters. So you can get an idea of what sort of size uh, this takes up, but it does actually feel relatively compact. There have been some other gaming chairs we've had in the past. Um, I'm not gonna mention any particular names, but some of them have been a little bit on the bulky side, whereas this actually does feel weirdly compact, even though the sizes and dimensions are kind of normal, so to speak. Other cool things, obviously everything you need is included in the packaging, so you get everything you need to assemble it. Although personally, as I show you in the assembly video, having a separate screwdriver and also some power tools, for me personally, made it a little bit easier and a little bit quicker to do, especially obviously trying to do it on video. But if you've got your own time and you don't have to worry about it too much, the included tools are absolutely fine. Everything is made to exacting standards, so you don't get any of those weird things where screws don't thread properly or it just, just feels out of alignment. Everything just fits together really nicely. And even down to things like the gas lift, the gas lift itself is made by, I think the company is KFS, and they make really good high quality uh, cylinders and pistons and all that kind of stuff. So you've got no issues there, again, even if you are a slightly heavier chap. So I think that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Overall, if you're in the market for a gaming stroke office chair, or just want somewhere to play your games on, this is definitely worth a look. Now I've looked around at other chairs of a similar sort of price point of which on the market, there's absolutely tons of them. It does seem to be one of those weird markets where it starts off where all the gaming chairs were a couple of hundred quid and trying to compete with Noble chairs as they were kind of like the brand leader. And then we're seeing other branches and other companies coming up with similarly priced products, which are kind of close competitors, I would say. But in terms of have actually having all of the features all in one box, ready to go straight away. And again, for 420 pounds, yes, it is a lot of money, but certainly it is an investment. You do get absolutely fantastic build quality. This isn't any of your Chinese thrown together stuff. This is proper German engineering at its finest, in my opinion. So let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. I will put a ton of links in the video description as well. So if you wanna pick one up or maybe check out the various options of colors and also uh, fabrics, which you may or may not like, then feel free to do so. Massive shout out again to Noble Chairs for sending this legend of a chair over to us for review purposes. I'm very, very attached to it and I don't wanna move. I actually wanna carry on doing this video for a while, but I can't, we have to wrap it up here. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's unboxing reviews and how to, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.